Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Galaxoid and Nebular. Um, uh, we're currently um, going to be doing a, a live review of uh, Kung Fury, the official movie by Laser Unicorns. If uh, you haven't seen it already, and chances are you have, um, we'll just be in the background talking while it's playing. And it's of course, it's free on YouTube. And uh, yeah, anything I, you'd like to add? I Nebula? actually have not seen it. So put me in the camp with the people who haven't seen it yet. There's possibly some people out there like me who haven't seen it. Uh, there's also a game on Steam, a classic sort of 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up game on Steam, also called Kung Fury, which I wanted to check out. Looks very like Double Dragon-esque. Yeah, I believe it's a dollar ninety-nine. So if you if you like what the Kung Fury, if you like li what Laser Unicorns has done, and you didn't get a chance to hit up hit them up on the Kickstarter, you definitely could uh, pick up that game and play it. Cool. All right. Well, let's. I guess let's get into it. We're just watching the official HD one on the Laser Unicorns. Uh, I guess we should do a countdown for when we press play. Right, so if you've done our live reviews before, basically it's like, you know, MST, it's like riff tracks, sort of, we're not that funny, but uh, we're going to do a countdown, one, two, three, clap, and then uh, we're going to press play on the button. So, uh, if Peter, if you want to do the, the honors. Yes, okay, everybody, one, two, three... Laser unicorn. I love like how it's overdubbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Awesome. <laughs> so so that guy just got shot and his boombox got taken? Does remind me, hey, they're playing laser unicorns. Yeah. The oft remembered uh, 80s retro game. I think I played that when I was smaller. Holy shit. Transformers. <laughs> So it reminds me of uh, Grand Theft Auto when you put in the cheat code where everyone ch starts fighting each other, and then you put in the cheat code, uh, everyone has weapons. Kind of what it and reminds of course, me of. And of course, any time he fires, the, he, he he flips off everyone, so that's great. Were you privy to the? Uh, did you watch the Hasselhoff uh, music video? No, I did not. Was it his hilarious? Had a lot of the, uh, these scenes on it, and the Kickstarter trailer had a lot of the scenes. Cool. <laughs> and he would have a Kuntash. <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna kill him. I swear he looks like a character from a Sega Genesis video game, you know? Yeah, he does. Like Liu Kang mixed with uh, one of the Double Dragons guys or something. Johnny Cage. Oh, oh, we gotta fix the track. Hold on. Oh, I shit. You there remember doing the fixing the track thing, right, Peter? The track Sadly, I do, yes. The channel buttons would be the tracking change. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit! This is the best part! Aw, oh, got hit into the satellite. Ah, oh, shit! There it goes again. Get yeah, it, because he's, he's a video game. Again. Yeah. 
It's like the exact opposite of Kung Pao. Oh no! Just like Ghost Ship. I just realized who that actor is. That's that one kid from, um... That one thing. <laughs> Gilmore. No, he's from Gilmore Girls. He was like... Uh... What's that girl's name? He was Rory's girlfriend or something. And he was also in Dirty Deeds. I think that's him, anyways. Um I'm uh, kind of frightened that you would know uh, the Gilmore Girl oh, Girls for thing, but sake. okay. Yeah, man, that was it. I watched a lot of '90s sitcoms. That's all I gotta say from Netflix. Knuckles. <laughs> 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 And he does the splits. Gotta have the red bandana. Up, uh, yes, that's where he got it from. No, it's wrong. He was, he was training with Ken as a kid, and Ken hurt him accidentally, and Ken ripped off a piece of his suit for him. That's how it actually happened. <laughs> nice. Well, I don't think that 2D side scrolling game maybe did it justice. It should have been a more complex game, maybe. Like a Far Cry Blood Dragon. <laughs> Actually, I've never played that, and I heard that is uh, very good. Yes. As far as, uh, you know, uh, being, I don't know, 80s throwback. Hey, that's that one guy. Triceratops. Yes! And he would be English because... Because those are the best partners, are the English ones. No! Oh. He never got a chance. For Triceracops. I'm gonna give uh, you one of those Saved by the Fells Bell uh, phones. Cell phones? Yeah. I should get one. And Hitler. This movie oh, shit. has everything. Oh, Jesus. He's a genius. It's going down. So that's what would happen if Hitler didn't die. Triceracops! Damn it. Okay. <laughs> Ackerman!
Every everyone rolled up their sleeves, even oh, with fuck. leather jackets. That's fucking Elias. From what? Clerks too. What really? Yeah, totally is. Fucking Percy troll bastard. <laughs> Totally off topic, but uh, <laughs> oh jeez, this makes me want to play um, Wolfenstein Old Blood. How is that? I've never gotten. To tell the truth, I haven't played a Wolfenstein since uh, Return of Castle Wolfenstein. I played uh, God, what's the newest one? I played that, and it was really good. I I rented it from uh, Redbox, and it was actually really good. It's really like classic Wolfenstein. And then I hear the freaking old blood is just going back to freaking Castle Wolfenstein and everything. Some sort of time machine. Better be a fucking DeLorean. I love how everyone's voice is slightly off and it looks overdubbed and they, oh, they yeah, do a really glove. good job, yo. Yes. There you go, Peter. That's you that's your uh Comic Con costume right there, Hacker Man. All you need is a power. Really? Glove. And a mullet. Um Damn. I wish this was a full length movie. This reminds me of another 80s movie, which I c don't remember was the name of, but I know we watched it together back in the day. There was, like, a movie, it was like a kung fu movie, but, like, for some reason a kid with, like, a video game could control his, like, brother as a kung fu guy. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You're talking about a gamer with Gerard Butler. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly it, that's it. God, that's a no, great game from the 80s. I don't remember. Game movie from the 80s. Yeah. I don't remember which one you're talking about. I swear. It was like, uh, he's playing the game, and then his brother's like the, the kung fu guy in the game. And it's like real life, but he like controls his brother's moves with the like little Game Boy game. I think, I swear that's a thing. Fade to black. Oh no! The soundtrack to this is Metal awesome. Earth. Need... Yeah, <laughs> the Lonely Mountain. Do 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 do. Low lower the volume for this. Do 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 do. Oh shit, dinosaurs. Now you need triceratops. <laughs> you missed that in history class, right? Yep. Don't let him laze you. Yes, all good things, all good things. <laughs> totally explains a laser after. Yes. 
All up in the Viking Age. Yes. I think that's the same T-Rex from Jurassic World. That's Indominus Rex? Yes. Gotta be. From the Viking Age, of course. <laughs> Best line ever. He does such a good job of keeping a straight face. Yeah, no this. kidding. It's awesome. I wonder how many times they had to stop the outtakes for laughing. Oh shit, it's Thor. Marvel crossover. So that's what Thor's supposed to look like. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, bro. You know what? Pretty much like Chris M. Wood. Like a really old Chris Hemsworth. That's how Chris Hemsworth's gonna look when he's 70, you know? Yeah, I bet. Then he really looked like Thor. Hey, thanks, Thor. Everybody gets one. Aw, oh, man, they need Kung Fury on uh, Bro Force. Oh, the, the, uh, that's gonna happen. Bro Fury. Bro Fury. <laughs> Ah, product placement. Nice. Ah. I wonder if it's made by Apple. Probably. Ah, great. That's never gonna go out of style. Haha. <laughs> Oddly, I think this is the best scene out of the whole movie. Really? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So completely random. Oh. My guy. It almost feels like a Monty <laughs> Python skit, you know? I was gonna say top secret or something. Yo, yeah, you good? Hey, the guy's from Killzone. He's good, yeah, yeah. Or the, uh, the shy guys from Super Mario Brothers, the movie. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. He's ha now he's flying. Yes. Yeah, I... Hey there, 
I definitely think they need a better game to showcase all this awesomeness rather than this the 2D scrolling fight beat em up game. Unless, of course, in that game you can take off someone's arm and use it as a helicopter. I don't know. We should uh, we should do we a, should do a look, little yeah. review on it or something. We like should that. look into that. Yeah. Kamehameha! Shinpuken! Oh shit! That was good timing on that one. Much like the Daredevil series, one long cut, and this one is like really epic. Nice. Yup! Oh, he's staying there. I wonder how many takes they had to do. Take <laughs> That's definitely the Liu Kang move. Oli, oli, oli. That's the Mario move, right? Riding on a turtle. Ah, <laughs> uh, fatality. Nice. Just like Wolfenstein. Yeah, huh. Gatlin Gun Hitler. Mecha Hitler, though, actually. Oh, you can't die, Kung Fury. Got so much to live for. You must avenge your partner. <laughs> Thor. Kill him I swear that's like Macho Man Randy Savage, you know. Is he looks Obviously. familiar? But you know, Macho Man's dead. But I swear that looks exactly. <laughs> like that's him, him brought back to the. Oh, what's Hacker Man doing? Nice. Why didn't you guys just come with him in the first place? Just like the lightning gun on uh, yes. District 9. Pretty sure they use the same special effects crew from District 9. <laughs> Nothing but cock shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he still shot the cock. <laughs> if somebody could do a Triceratops costume, that'd be awesome. I bet. I bet someone will. We demand that someone does a Triceratops costume. Oh no! Oh. In the eighties mask and G.I. Joe homage. Oh cool. 
got the exact sound effects too. I'll get things. I'll get things. <laughs> ah, it is going Super Saiyan. <laughs> you can hack anything, man. You can really... <laughs> nice. Short arm battle! Yo, tiny arms. He suddenly turned into Dana Carvey. Yeah, really. <laughs> yes. Luke Cage ball shot. Want me to put the hammer down? Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's nice. It's nice. <laughs> That's right, Rex. That's right. Bah. <laughs> Now they need to high five and freeze. Yeah. Maybe that's what it was missing, a moral of the story. Yeah. <laughs> Best cameo ever. Is that gonna transform? No Hitler, he's not dead. Oh no. Of course. Is it gonna be naked in there? Oh. 
I came to the future. Watch out, Kung Fury. He's remembering alternate timelines. <laughs> oh, very days of future pasty. Nice. Holy right. shit, he, he wrote and directed it too, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's sweet. I'm telling you, man, in the 80s, the Countach was the ultimate, like, badass car. Now you, now there isn't, like, one singular badass car. It's, like, a whole bunch. Uh, it will never be like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Do you know if they actually screened it in a theater or anything like that? Oh, did they have a premiere? I don't know. Yeah. That's a good that question. That would have been so awesome to go to. I want more stuff like this nowadays. I think, like, this kind of throwback to the 80s and kind of just making it gonzo and ridiculous. I, I love it. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. We need more gonzo 80s exploitation films. I think that's what makes Mad Max good too, because it's a uh, Aussie spo exploitation and eighty exploitation. That's what we need. New genre. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I definitely would have liked this if it was a full length movie, but I I, th I feel like not everyone would have got it. Maybe. If if they made it like Kung Pao, I mean, if they made it as long as Kung Pao, I think it would be successful. It would be like one of them cult hit hits, but at the same time, you know, uh, it, it, well, you can see, like, it was, he, he was mainly doing it by himself, so. Right, I mean, right. So, yeah, that was the end of Kung Fury. We just watched the credits right there. Um, yeah, that's what I, I was thinking. It was totally like the opposite of Kung Pao. Because <laughs> it's westernized and everything. Kind of taking, instead of inserting ourselves into Kung Pao or inserting the actor into like an old movie, kind of extracting parts of an old me movie into this new thing. That kind of opposite of Kung Pao? Yeah, exactly. And with like the the dub over of the English dubs. <laughs> Yeah. It makes me All right, well makes me want to do a list of sort of eighties themed modern video games, you know what I mean? Like we said Far Cry Blood Dragon. Definitely a Hotline Miami falls under that. Oh um, definitely a Hotline Miami, yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, I'm drawing a blank. I really don't I haven't bought any like any ones like that. That would be your area of expertise, actually. Yes, yes. Cool, I might make a list about that and maybe play some and stream it as well, because that's pretty cool. I'd like to see, uh, like, one of my favorite games that are... You have it too, actually, is uh, Alien Isolation. I like how they just got how the first Alien movie feels. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, I, in fact, yeah, I still haven't played through that. I, I want to, but yes, we 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 should. I, should. it's stressful. I should maybe stream it and <laughs> play through it. This is ridiculous. It, it would be really nice if they would be able to uh, bring a iconic uh, movie from the eighties up to date with like a video game, kind of like this. Um, just, I'd say like Back to the Future at least. Oh or... man. Well, they kind of did with the Telltale uh, series of the Back to the Future game, which was kind of a sequel to uh, to the last Back to the Future movie, and that was really written well. 
And they, they got oh, good voice go. actors, too. As... Good. We should add that to the 80s movie. 80, uh, 80s throwback games. Oh, great. Yes. So maybe we will start. We, we don't know yet, but pretty much we're going to call it Bitches Love Lists, I think. Yes, that's a consensus. What? <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're gonna to make lists like BuzzFeed, but with video games and stuff like that. And and yeah, weren't you working on a top 10 uh, tactical shooters or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, for all that uh, clickbait stuff that uh, we ended up clicking... That you know you're just on the internet and you end up accidentally clicking. Well, we're not going to pussyfoot around it. We're actually going to say clickbait or like you know bitches love lists or yes. listicle or there's Buzzfeed can hide behind their uh, title all they want, <laughs> but you know it is just fucking clickbait. So we're we just need just... A, a sexy image that's nowhere about the list at all. Boobies totally not on this list. <laughs> yeah, like uh, the best Rugrat episodes, and then it has like a, a ass on it or something. <laughs> exactly. Gotcha. Best, Dis- <laughs> best Disney movies, and it is just like you know some almost slightly like you know not safe for work pictures of uh, Disney characters or something like that. Yeah, there you go. That's it. We're like, wait a those. minute! I don't remember Jasmine doing that. <laughs> Sweet. Well, let's uh, go ahead and close it out. Um, there's there's some stuff I want to talk about, but I think we can uh, hit that up on uh on uh, zombies. Our next, yeah, on zombies our next or our, another Galaxoid Nebular. And in fact, uh, I want to try to do uh, a stream, uh, a video stream for the Galaxoid Nebular on uh, Twitch if we can. All right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's not cross the streams there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, yeah, no, that's a good idea, though. And uh, I just want to say to everyone, we updated our schedule. So uh, next thing is going to be a new adventure cast. Uh, actually, a second one, which really is the first one, since the first one was an interview with Scott Corum. Uh, we're going to be casting it up uh, Wednesday, June 17th, I want to say. And we're going to be talking about old uh, D&D games on the computer and uh, never winter nights and all that sort of jazz. Sounds good. Sounds good. And then after that, we got zombies on uh, coming up on the Sunday. Uh, Riffin with ninety guys is going to start us out in July. Then we'll have two uh, zombies to aliens cast just because Comic Con's in July. We will have preview night where we're going to talk about what we would like to see at Comic Con, and then we'll have one Sunday. W- to reflect back on Comic Con as well. Cool, it's coming up. Get ready. I know it's it happened so fast, and then it's gonna be gone, and then I gotta wait a whole another fucking year. <laughs> and it is uh, very early in July this year too, for some reason. Some reason. I don't know why. Things may be rumors are that things may be moving behind the scenes, and uh, it's coming to there a might home. be a. Yeah, yeah, there might be a shake-up next year, or yeah. who knows, but... Uh... The, uh, the... I was trying to get uh, the people from Keep Comic Con in San Diego on for an interview. Uh, we just haven't scheduled at the right time. Uh, but go ahead and check them out. Their Keep Comic Con in San Diego is a Facebook organization that kind of just rallies and brings awareness. But the main thing was uh, for Comic Con to stay in San Diego, we can't a- actually expand on um, the convention center. That plan got shot down. So instead, to try to keep it here, ev- the hotel rates around downtown have to go down low so people can afford it. So uh, Comic Con actually has attendees that can go and get hotel rooms and go to Comic Con. So that's like the last ditch effort. Is all if we can get all the hotels nearby to agree to lower their rates. Is there any uh, chance that it could split in two, maybe? Maybe we have a Comic-Con and maybe have, like, a some type of movie con or something like that? A pop con? Or... No. No way. <laughs> There's no way people like but, the um, movie celebrities and everything like that? No, probably not. But I tell you what, it's not going to go far at all. It's probably going to be moved to Anaheim. Because uh, this year Anaheim hosted WonderCon, which I believe was, like, their, their big test of, uh, hey, we can do WonderCon. 
and we have more space, and hey, we have fucking Disneyland, so we can handle Comic-Con, I think. Yeah, I don't agree with that. It should stay in San Diego regardless, but um, they should definitely have WonderCon uh, almost like the month prior or the month after, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that'd be good. Let's just split into two. Just a little two. Right. Yeah. Or maybe they can do it like E3 and just have it like press and then the public can join, but at a more higher rate. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. <laughs> yeah. Um... It might have to go press only, I think. But, I mean, that's lame, to tell the truth. You know? It's, lame, it's huh? become its own own thing out over the years, and people are really looking for uh, for other for other venues to go to other than uh, San Diego, because you, can't, you can't rely on getting plane Christ. tickets right at the last minute, you know? No, you can't. Yeah. And uh, other thing in news I just want to touch real quick, there's uh, Ash vs. the Evil Dead teaser on YouTube. Go ahead and check that out. I'm very excited for that. Cool. Any news on your end? Uh, yeah, I got some stuff, but uh, let's go ahead and close it out. Um, All right. I'm, I'm good. I am also so, good. Uh, this is uh, Galaxy oh, wait, I got a, Nebula. Oh. I got a relevant uh, quote. Um, this, this is going to be from Jurassic World that's coming out. Uh, dinosaurs like to eat, uh, and hunt. Oh, wait. I fucked it up already. <laughs> you got to relate to one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and on that note, uh, is Galaxoid Nebula signing off. See you. So it reminds me of uh, Grand Theft Auto when you put in the cheat code where everyone ch starts fighting each other, and then you put in the cheat code uh, everyone has weapons. Kind of what it and reminds of course, me of. Any time he fires, the, he he flips off everyone, so that's great. Were you privy to the? Uh, did you watch the Hasselhoff uh, music video? No, I did not. Was it, it was hilarious? Had a lot of the, uh, these scenes on it, and the Kickstarter trailer had a lot of the scenes. Cool. <laughs> and he would have a Kuntash. <laughs> Laser unicorn. I love like how it's overdubbed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Awesome. <laughs> so so that guy just got shot and his boombox got taken? Does remind me. Hey, they're playing laser unicorns. Yeah. The oft-remembered uh, 80s retro game. I think I played that when I was smaller. Holy shit. Transformers. <laughs> Double Dragon-esque. Yeah, I believe it's a dollar ninety nine. So if you if you like what the Kung Fury, if you like what Laser Unicorns has done, and you didn't get a chance to hit up hit them up on the Kickstarter, you definitely could uh, pick up that game and play it. Cool. All right. Well, let's. I guess let's get into it. We're just watching the official HD one on the Laser Unicorns. Uh, I guess we should do a countdown for when we press play. Right, so if you've done our live reviews before, basically it's like, you know, MST, it's like riff tracks, sort of, we're not that funny, but uh, we're going to do a countdown, one, two, three, clap, and then uh, we're going to press play on the button. So, uh, if Peter, if you want to do the, the honors. 
Yes, okay. Everybody. One, two, three. Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Galaxoid and Nebular. Um, uh, we're currently um, going to be doing a, a live review of uh, Kung Fury, the official movie by Laser Unicorns. If uh, you haven't seen it already, and chances are you have, um, we'll just be in the background talking while it's playing. And it's of course, it's free on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, anything I, you'd like to add? I Nebular? actually have not seen it. So put me in the camp with the people who haven't seen it yet. There's possibly some people out there like me who haven't seen it. Uh, there's also a game on Steam, a classic sort of 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up game on Steam, also called Kung Fury, which I wanted to check out. Looks very like. Oh no, it's gonna kill. It. I swear he looks like a character from a Sega Genesis video game, you know? Yeah, he does. Like Liu Kang mixed with uh, one of the Double Dragons guys or something. Johnny Cage. Oh, oh we gotta fix the track. Hold on. Oh, I shit. You remember you doing the fixing the track thing, right, Peter? The track Sadly, speed? I do, yes. The channel buttons would be the tracking change. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. They're the best part. Got hit into the satellite. Ah, oh, shit. There it goes again. Get it. 